The Rio Gallinas is the lifeblood for so many people in San Miguel County and has been for over 200 years. Our love and connection to our land and water is our cadencia. The Gallinas River is the source of water for the acequias and the agricultural community that exists all along the river. Uh, some people will simply look at it as an acequia system being an earth canal that delivers water to irrigated fields and crops. And that's their version of an acequia system. The acequia system is much more than that to the people that live along that acequia system. That defines our relationship with each other as neighbors because we share water from the same system. We share labor to maintain the acequia. And so the acequia is a big fabric of the community itself. From the headwaters all the way down, there's enormous amount of uh, wildlife that relies on the river. We also have a lot of birds that fly through these areas in the winter, and so it sustains that kind of life. You know, I remember going up there as a little kid, you know, eight, nine, ten years old, and learning how to swim in that river up in the canyon, and me, you know, teaching my kids and my nephews and nieces, and that's where I learned how to fish. That's where I caught my first uh, brown trout up in the canyon right underneath Hermit's Peak. Our property is pinched between Anasekia and the Gallinas River, so I grew up walking the river, uh, playing at the river, and as well as using the irrigated land, cleaning the Anasekia in, in the early season of the year. It's been a tradition. It's a lifeline like the veins in the, in the blood of a lot of traditions and people from Las Vegas and the surrounding areas. It's part of their upbringing. And now we need to teach our younger generations the benefit of the sequia, the benefit of the river, the benefit of water conservation so that the, the water is here in, in abundance for years to come. When my dad was a child growing up there, uh, he didn't have any recollection of it ever going dry. It goes dry almost every year now. And three, four years ago, I can't remember exactly, you know, we had 0% snowpack for the first time in recorded history. We don't know what the future looks like. The condition of the Rio Gallinas represents that of many small rivers in the Southwest. River valleys were developed, and to use them for farming, ranching, and living, rivers were moved to one side of the valley. This caused them to be straightened, entrenched, disconnected from their floodplain, and vital features like pools and meanders were lost. Then entered climate change, which has really worsened the problems, and with it came the Hermit's Peak Cap Canyon fire. 75% of the Gaina's watershed burned. Last year, in 2022, the river ran black and brown for four months. Erosion in the watershed was severe, and we have five or more years of this to live through. So last year in 2022, we had the worst wildfire in New Mexico history. Much of the watershed in both tributaries of the Gainas is completely destroyed. Well, number one reason why it's in jeopardy, in my personal opinion, is, is climate change and the lack of precipitation, the lack of snowpack, you know, the, the, the battle between the city and the acequias. And people that have had acequias and water rights up in the canyon where I live have been losing them left and right through the state. The city of Las Vegas, along with the uh, Asequia Users Association, have been in litigation for the last 40, 50 years, and that's coming to an end this year. We've come to a settlement on who has priority rights on the river. Uh, again, that's always going to be uh, something that needs to be shared uh, between the municipal water supply and the agricultural lands and uh, irrigating those lands. I'm also concerned about the fish. I haven't seen brown trout since it started raining. I don't know where they're at. I don't know if they're all gone. I don't know if the ash and all the contaminants, um, I don't know if it's gonna be healthy enough for our fisheries to replenish these rivers. But we used to see um, river rock in all the rivers and they're all full of sand. I can't see any rock and I can't see any fish. So that's one of, that's one of my other concerns um, about the river is, uh, is uh, the health of the river for our trout. Without widespread and thoughtful watershed restoration, the Rio Gainas and its communities will suffer for decades or longer.